Hi, welcome back to Robin at Archery videos. The subject for today is the Najura carbon fibre shafts from Germany. Now last November I was actually at the Padabo exhibition and I went to see the guys at Najura, took some fantastic video of their stand there. It had generated so much interest the people were three deep trying to get in and have a look at it. Unfortunately, me being an idiot, I've uh, overwritten that file. So uh, that explains why you've got me talking to camera for this intro. But it also explains my comments following now. So, yeah, right folks, that was the uh, Padabo exhibition in Germany, uh, November 2017. Fast forward five months and we're now in April 2018. So the first thing I'm going to do is start off with an apology to those nice people at Najora who have waited all this time for this video to come out. Um, really lovely people. Um, they've really had a lot of patience with me. Um, but that has had benefits later on, which I'll speak to you about in a moment on the video. Um, what am I doing today? I want to show you something of the Najora shafts. Uh, right from the first moment I've been impressed with them and very quickly they were introduced into the Robin Hood Archery lineup. They've been in the shop for a while. What I'm going to do is a destruction test to show you guys and I'll explain how that's going to work in a minute, okay? That plus all the technical gubbins, all the jargon, will be at the back end of the video. All right, so what's going to be happening right now? I've set up a little bit of a range here, okay, and there's a concrete block about eight meters down range, and I'm going to be shooting two arrows onto the concrete block. I have, first of all, this is one of the industry standards. This is uh, a gold tip trad, okay? And I think widely, put my teeth in, widely acknowledged as being one of the really tough shafts for trad archers. Um, I've used these for quite a while, um, stumping, etc. really hard wearing robust shaft. Um, this one's been on my shelf, however, for some while. Um, and I'm going to be testing it against the Najora Bark Pro. All right, now I'm hoping this is going to be focusing. Um, if I bring this into me a little bit, really, really lovely looking shaft. They're both 500 spine. They're the same length. They've both got long inserts. They've both got 125 grain points on them. And for the sake of fairness, neither have got the stainless steel protector caps, which a lot of the arrows that are produced fit these days for a bit of extra security. You can see on here, you can see against my shirt, these here are the protector caps. All right. So it's going to be interesting to see whether they survive being shot at a concrete block eight meters away from a 50 pound bow all right so that's coming later on in the video right let's crack on with it the benefit of me taking so long with this video is i've had five months to test numerous model shafts from nijora and they have been put through the mill. I'm going to show you a few clips now um, of various shooting uh, situations that I've had them in. They've been shot in minus 20 degrees. They've been shot in plus 20 degrees. They've been stumping in the forest. They've been used on the range. They've been used at my own little shooting area at home, everything that you could possibly imagine. They have been bounced off trees, they have been hit on rocks, they've cartwheeled through the forest, they've been 
buried underground for nights at a time in freezing conditions when I've uh, actually missed. Um, but just occasionally I have actually managed to hit what I was meant to be hitting. So as you can see from those clips, they've had a really thorough workout. I would say since November, I've probably had between about five and 8,000 shots with the Najora shafts, okay? And um, I'll say right here, right now, they are absolutely phenomenal. You'll see some of the testing that I've done with them later on in the video, okay? So let's move on, off to the next bit. So here we are, eight meters down range, and we're gonna be shooting those two arrows I mentioned earlier onto this concrete block, okay? Now, I've also got a, a smaller uh, camera or a, a closer camera down here on this one, hello. So hopefully we'll get some good action shots and uh, see what happens to these arrows when they go smacking into this piece of, or big lump of concrete. Let's do it. Right, let's do this. Um, first arrow, let's do the gold tip trad. Remember, both 500 spine, both without the benefit of protector caps. Eight meters, concrete block, 50 pound bow. Whoa! All right. We will have a look at that in a moment. I've no idea whether that survived at all. Whoa, right. Hold you there. I'm gonna go and find my arrows. Wow, absolutely. I'm gonna come into camera. I hope my uh, camera helper will make sure I'm still in shot. Does that need to come up a bit? No, brilliant, that's fine. Look at that, they are both intact. If I put this onto my T-shirt, about there. Wow, look at that, all it's done is it's thrown both knocks out of the end. Absolutely phenomenal. I, 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 can, I can hardly believe that that's happened. They're, I'm kind of speechless at that. Fantastic. I think it's safe to say that the Nijora shafts are damn tough, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Right. Let's move on to the next bit and you can take a look at some of the technical specifications and some of the tests I've put these through um, from a more scientific point of view. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, firstly, all components were weighed to make sure they were in spec. Quite um, impressive, actually. You can see, especially the inserts, 0.2 grain within each other. Really good stuff. Now this test is with some universal thinner or white spirit. Now many of you will clean carbon shafts before fitting fletching, so this is a very relevant test. But also I wanted to make sure that the finish, the actual design of the shaft stayed on. With many manufacturers, this will actually rub off and you'll be down to carbon straight away. You can see here I'm giving it a really good rub and there's nothing coming off on that tissue at all. 
So for this one, a big thumbs up. Here I've fitted the protector caps and the knocks, no problems there at all. And here you can see the chunky insert head, very, very impressive, good, robust build quality. All in all, the Bark Pro is a beautiful looking shaft. In fact, all of the Najura shafts are very, very well finished. You can see here I've made some Songan arrows, I've made some Taipa, which are the bamboo look arrows, and I've also made the Slimline Bark, which is called the Unique. Absolutely stunning finish on all of them. So there we have it folks, that's the Najora shafts. I was going to call this end bit the conclusions. You can make your own conclusions based on the information you've seen today. All the tech spec, the robustness, it's all there, okay? The quality, they're a real world-class quality product. The, the vast range of the weight, the grains per inch of the models that they provide um, I'll dig out the specifications and put the, the lowest grains per inch and the highest up on the screen for you to see, just to give you an idea. So they've covered all the bases. They've got all the different designs. They've got the different spec, but they don't keep chopping and changing that spec, which is brilliant, really good stuff. I'm impressed with them. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave you there until the next time on Robin and Archery videos.